consider the following 2015 Princeton University math contest problem. Uh, we are given a 4x4 four four grid and we would like to paint four of the little squares here, of the 16 little squares. How many different uh, shapes can we get up to rotation and reflection? Just to remind you, in a square, uh, we have in total uh, four plus four, four rotational basically, and then four reflectional symmetries, four rotation and four reflection. And what are those? So the four rotations, as you can imagine, are the 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, as well as uh, the identity or the 360 degree rotation. The reflections uh, are the horizontal, the vertical, and then the diagonal one and diagonal two. We have two main diagonals. And so the one that goes from northwest to southeast and then the one that goes from northeast to southwest. Awesome. So uh, so therefore, if obviously this is a Burnside problem, uh, except that it is a constrained Burnside uh, in the sense that we only want to paint four of the uh, little squares. So this is a we, we need to do the Burnside count carefully. So the number of uh, orbits or in this particular case, um, uh, colorings, if you will, colorings is uh, equal to one over the symmetry group, the total uh, eight elements. And then we need to add the fix of each of these symmetry. So we can start with the fix of the identity. So how many colorings are fixed if we do nothing basically? So all of them. And in this case, because we are painting four of these little squares, there is a 16 choose four ways. Uh, to, uh, to 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 choose those four little squares plus how about the 90 degree rotation well in the case of the 90 degree rotation uh, you want to make sure that if a, a cell is colored all its 90 degree 180 270 degree uh, rotations each and every single one of them has to be colored as well so uh, this is one way to do it and another way to do it would be like this where you just color these, if you will. Um, nope, that's not the way. <laughs> this one, this one, and this one. That's a second way. A third way to do it would be, for instance, if you color this one, this one, this one, this one. And finally, the fourth way would be if you color, say, this one, this one, um, that, and that, if I'm not mistaken. So in total, you have four different ways. And again, you will have four different ways for the 270 as well. So I might as well multiply it by two. Finally, the 180 degree case. For this case, um, for instance, if this is colored, then the 180 degree rotation should have to be colored as well. So what you can do is you can just think of this upper uh, part. And all you do is uh, if you give uh, letters to this, so these two has to match those two has to match and so on these has to match those are d uh, e e f f g g h h so all i need is to choose uh, two out of the eight here and then the, the um, they will automatically um, fill out the, the other part for instance if you choose this one and say this one then necessarily this and uh, this has got to be painted as well and we would be done. So that's basically in uh, eight choose two ways. And we are done with the rotational symmetries. Now the fix for the horizontal and vertical, obviously due to symmetry, uh, they would give us the same answer. So we can say times two. But wait, this is exactly a similar type of argument like we did in the 180 degree rotation business. So let me go ahead and... Um, uh, show you guys how we can do it. So let's say that we are interested in the horizontal. So this is the axis of symmetry. Uh, so A, this one is an A. So this is slightly different than the 180, in, in which case it's this one which is filled. But uh, the idea is similar. C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, H, H. So all we do is we select eight of the top part and then uh, two, two of the eight, and then the other two are automatically chosen in at the bottom. So therefore, uh, there is eight choose two ways to select those, and that's pretty good. Now, how about the diagonal? Again, the, in the diagonal case, we will have, um, suppose that we are interested in this diagonal, 
um, and uh, they, they are symmetric with respect to each other, the, the other diagonal main as well. So I will just multiply the, the, the end result by two. So in this case, uh, A, B, C, D, they are all distinct. However, because of the, uh, the reflection here uh, across the main diagonal, so these will be the same, those two will be the same, these are the same, that and that. Awesome. So now this one is slightly different. Remember, we need to use only four paintings. Four squares will be painted. So I will do a case work based on the main diagonal. How many elements in the main diagonal will be painted? So uh, the cases would be either uh, all four are painted, all four painted in the main diagonal, meaning we don't have to choose anything off diagonal. And this can happen in only one way versus uh, two painted two of the four of the four uh, painted so there is um i can choose it in a four choose two ways and then i need to still paint two more and for that all i do is the off diagonal entry just pick one of them right pick a letter which is off diagonal suppose you pick f for instance then this one is also painted already so there's six choose one way to do that and that's just six times six which is 36 and finally none of the four painted zero painted in the di main diagonal in a main diagonal diagonal well in that case uh, we need to choose two of uh, from the half of uh, from the upper half, let's say, and then the other two from the down will be automatically selected. So th there will be a counterpart here. So six, just two ways, and that's it, which is just uh, six times five over two, fifteen. And the total in this case would be uh, well, one plus fifteen, sixteen, fifty-two. That's it, unless uh, I, I did a. a, a a silly mistake or something hopefully not um, and if you do the calculation here uh, the sum should come out as a uh, 252 indeed and that solves this uh, simple application burnside uh, lemma application a problem from the 2015 uh, pumac hope to see you guys in our next lecture